Hello once again, everyone. We're visiting with Vice President of the Center of Food and Animal Issues with the Ohio Farm Bureau, Mike Bumgarner. Mike, it's always a pleasure visiting with you. You've uh, had some pretty uh, exciting uh, meetings that you've be just been wrapping up that has to do uh, with, of course, animal agriculture and uh, right. antibiotics. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, we can, Gary, and, and we certainly appreciate the opportunity to visit with you here today. Uh, you know, Farm Bureau is a member of the National Institute of Animal Agriculture, and they just held a national symposium, which we helped coordinate for them uh, with Dr. Leah Dorman as the uh, co-chair uh, for that conference uh, on the use of antibiotics and antibiotic resistance issue. And what it's, it's a one health approach, and it was a two and a half day uh, symposium that we brought together uh, representatives from human medicine, from the environmental side of the issue, and, and from animal agriculture to come together to, to create a dialogue to try to, to address what are the issues and try to find solutions. Of course, uh, consumers have a larger concern today about uh, antibiotics and the food that they purchase. At the same time, uh, producers have a, a concern about uh, being able to maintain the use of antibiotics uh, for their bottom line. Oh, most definitely. You know, there's so much misinformation out in the, the media and in the general public today. So we have a job to do to make sure we get the right information out. Uh, but the, the bottom line is that, that it is not... Uh, one, it's not a one issue or one uh, area that, that is going to solve this. And the issue really is antibiotic resistance. And when you start talking about that, uh, everybody, all aspects of medicine have to come together to find solutions because it is going to be a challenge. And, and it's not one industry or one, not one segment. It's everybody needs to work together to find those solutions. Well, that's one issue of uh, animal uh, livestock production on uh, maybe the professional side, if you will. Uh, at the same time, uh, learning how to uh, maintain and handle uh, livestock on the farm is something that uh, you're going to be addressing in uh, March, I believe. Well, we do have a conference coming up uh, in March, uh, working with our Animals for Life Foundation, uh, which Dave White is our executive director for. Uh, the seminar that we're going to be having, well, the featured uh, presenter or speaker will be Temple Grandin, Dr. Temple Grandin from Colorado State University. The real focus of that uh, symposium will be the, the whole human-animal bond and relationship, uh, and I'm making sure people understand the, the value that animals provide to their lives in each and every day. Day. Uh, you know, we'll be getting into not only food animals, but we'll be having a lot of sessions on companion an animal ownership and the care, but really getting people to understand that, that there's so many ways that animals touch their lives and there's real value uh, in that relationship. It's funny how things come full circle, if you will. I can remember my days with uh, producers and uh, actually uh, having Temple Grandin here in Columbus talking about handling livestock at that time. And uh, she has become so very popular and uh, such an expert throughout the country and the world. Oh, most definitely. Uh, she is probably the, the foremost authority in, in animal handling. To some of the facilities that she's helped design and handling facilities for livestock in the food industry uh, is tremendous. Uh, she has done a super job and been a great spokesman for the industry. Mike, you're doing so much, uh, and Farm Bureau is doing so much with uh, animal agriculture, with all of agriculture, but if someone has specific concerns or questions that they would like to uh, visit with you or anyone with Farm Bureau, what's the best way for them to go about getting in touch? Well, really go to our website, uh, www.ofb.org, uh, and they can submit questions there, or they can call us directly at our office. Uh, but really, if, if you know, the simplest is through the website and ask questions, and it'll be directed to the appropriate person within the organization to provide the answers. Very good. Mike Bumgarner has been a guest. Mike, thanks for being with us. Thank you. And stay with us. Back with more right after this.